The Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head men's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And, well, we've made it to the tape. We've made it to the finish line in the regular season. And first of all, congratulations. I mean, it's quite an accomplishment just to get there uh, through all of the things that this team and, and really the entire league has gone through. Yeah, you go back to the start of the season and, you know, uh, or when we brought our kids back to campus and you – you, you anticipate, you didn't know what to f- expect. You didn't know if we were going to get to a season, how many games we we're going to play. And the fact that this, the, you know, college basketball has got through a season is, uh, is a, a huge accomplishment across the country. And so now we get to the uh, third season, is, if you will, and it's postseason. We'll talk about that later. But first of all, the finale of the American Athletic Conference season in Orlando. That's coming up next on the Frank Haith Show. the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and uh, Coach, you get ready to go to Orlando. And I believe at that time you knew that the SMU game was likely not to be played. So you're thinking this is the final game of the league season, and it's so important for seeding despite the fact teams have played different number of games, right? Yeah, we, 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 we felt like, the, yeah, obviously that was the case. And, you know, and then we, we, there was a chance we were going to play another team in Tulane. So you were still trying to figure it out, and that's the way the season has gone. Uh, but I thought our guys really competed hard in Central. Uh, second half we played outstanding as well. We played all year, and uh, first half we got clipped pretty good. But we really competed there in the second half. Yeah, in the second half it was a terrific comeback for the University of Tulsa. It's TU taking on UCF in Orlando. The Knights won the first game here at the Reynolds Center, and now hopefully some payback for the Golden Hurricane. And despite the fact at the end of this half you'll trail by 16, the, the first 14 minutes wasn't bad at all. It was even. Yeah, we've had a we've had these spurts, uh, Bruce, where we you know we we don't score, and and and, then, and teams have got got going there, and and that that's something that's kind of plagued us all year a little bit. Keyshawn Embry Simpson is really starting to come on for you. And that's big. You know, we, 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 we went into the year feeling like he would be a, one of our better scorers, and, and now he looks like he's more and more comfortable. There's a group penetration right there, and obviously Brandon knocks down a three. Uh, really good defense by Darren right here, and again, there's Keyshawn Embry on the, in transition. So you're down 15 to 12 at that point. And again, very competitive here in the first half. That's a nice step through, isn't it? Yeah, and DJ, you know, he's leading the American Conference and field goal percentage shooting and a lot because of the shots like that. 
That layup will make it 21 to 20. And so you're right there, but then the next six minutes just didn't go your way. Yeah, and you know, it's, they, they get the ball deep on us and scoring and Peyton Diggs had a great game for them. Uh, and then we turned the ball over, uh, Bruce. We had 14 turnovers, I think, in this first half, or 12, I think it was. And we only had, excuse me, two in the second half. But um, we that, that was our undoing. Transition buckets because of our live ball turnovers. They had a big portion of those points scored during that time. Um, and, and so we ended up being down 16 at the half. Yeah, and just stopped making shots too. 30% yeah. at halftime, certainly, um, you know, down the back stretch especially uh, was difficult. And so now you've dug yourself a hole. What'd you say to him at halftime? <laughs> Play, <laughs> do better. We got to do better, you know, so. Uh, and, uh, and we started doing better, you know, right here. You know, it was a good shot uh, by Curtis. Um, you know, we shared the ball. We got better shots, but we also, Knocked them down, and uh, but our defense was a lot better. Uh, you know, we we had some good penetration. That was a nice penetration tee up score uh, by by Ray in the paint area. Again, we're just moving the ball, and there's Ray ducking in and going over his right shoulder, and Ray has ability to do that go over both shoulders, and we're start just chipping away right now. Now we're within nine, and uh, we had a good execution play right here, a little lob play for Brandon, so we cut it to seven and. We chopped that lead pretty quickly with four yeah. minutes into the half. Yeah, exactly. And now here's Darian Jackson with the penetration. And once he gets his nose in there and gets his shoulder past him, it's hard to stop him. Yeah, and it's a good execution out of bounds play. A nice shot by Keisha. And we talked about how he's he's being better offensively. And, uh, you know, we're still battling right there. They scored a little bit, but we're not, you know, we're competing. And that's a nice pullback three by uh, Eli. Now it's a five-point lead with 13 minutes going to the game. So you're really playing well at this point, playing good defense and obviously inside out. And this is a big three-pointer certainly for Darian Jackson, isn't it? It is, it is, and for our program, <laughs> you know, and you know, we cut it to four, and that's good defense right there, knocking that loose ball, knocking that ball loose, and we're scrambling, we're on the deck fighting for it. So we're, we're fighting real hard here, uh, uh, giving ourselves a chance. And moments later, with the hurricane down by, at this point, just four, now you're down by just two on the great drive by Brandon Rochelle. Yeah, and it's still, you know, we did all this, and you still, there's 12 minutes going this game. So we, we really cut into this thing quickly, and nice out of bounds execution there. Now that gives us a lead with 11 minutes going in so, the game. So you take the lead in the space of about eight plus minutes and erase a 16 point deficit, and now you're still uh, adding on to it. Yeah, I think I got the stat sheet at one time. We were shooting like 80% at one point in time and and uh, just really executing well. And, and you notice we're driving the ball. We're really doing a great job of attacking that paint. Tulsa up by two. And again, very good defense leads to some offense. Good defense right there by Eli and Curtis. And now it's a full point lead. And again, nice pick and roll. And I love to see Ray do that. You know take up the slack, uh, crab dribble, get into the paint and be forceful. And that basket would make it 61-55, eight minutes to go, and that would be your high watermark in this ball game. And uh, you know, UCF, they finally made, you know, they made some adjustments, but your team was right there down the stretch. Well, we still actually, they went zone a couple times and we had some good execution against their zone because we were really doing a great job of scoring, our, you know, against their man. And there again, that's Curtis of Love, you know, Curtis and Keyshawn start making shots where we're, we're a lot better offensively. Back up by seven with uh, just under six minutes to play. That was a tough shot. Tough play there. I think you didn't see the play before that. It led to that bucket and, you know, um, but good execution there and out of bounds play in terms of just trying to get closer. And I mean, this is a, it's our go play, you know, and uh, obviously Brandon finishes it. And we, we felt like we just needed to get a two, quick two here. Uh, it was a one point game now. They only made one free throw. We had a loose ball. We get it back. Uh, get the timeout. Timeout. And this is a tough shot. That that wasn't what we wanted, uh, obviously. But uh, you know, we wanted something going towards the basket with only being down two. Well, and so your final score is 73-69. You take a look at the shooting, and all of a sudden that evened out, didn't it, with the way the game went in the second half. Really terrific second half for you. Yeah, we played well. Um, you know, we, we gave, it, gave ourselves a chance and uh, on the road, and that's what you want. Um, our guys competed, and uh, unfortunately we came up on the short end. Uh, but I, 
Uh, I liked how we played in the second half. We wanted to continue to build on that going into postseason. Yeah, and I was going to say the timeline is so strange because you, you still kind of thought you might play Tulane and then you weren't going to play Tulane. You knew you weren't going to play SMU, but essentially that was the final game of the league season, wasn't it? It was, and uh, so we we wanted to have another game. We didn't want. We had a lot of these breaks here, and we didn't want to have another break before we played again. And the Hurricane did indeed play on Thursday against Northeastern. Highlights of that game from the Rental Center coming up next. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. the American. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. River Spirit is cruising in the spring with two chances to win the one and only Cadillac. It's the back-to-back -back Cadillac giveaway, and you could take home one of two Cadillac CT5 sedans. Earn entries daily for back-to-back -back Saturday drawings on March 20th and the 27th, and you can double your chances to drive a legend. It's the one you've been waiting for, and two chances to win it. The back-to-back -back Cadillac giveaway, only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Welcome back to the Frank Haith Show. The Golden Hurricane with their final regular season game against Northeastern from Tahlequah. And coach, this is a game that you really wanted to play because it has been so herky-jerky this year and you wanted to get two games in a week, right? Yeah, we wanted to kind of establish some kind of rhythm going into the conference tournament. And, uh, you know, we knew the possibility of not having an SMU game early on. So we contacted Jay and those guys and, and they were so kind to come over here and play so we could just kind of get some rhythm going going into tournament. I really appreciate him doing that. And obviously, uh, you know, it was important for us to get a lot of minutes out of some guys because you went to win a tournament, you're going to need production out of a lot of guys. Yeah, and you play every other day in the tournament or almost every day in the tournament, obviously, and this kind of gets you in that rhythm, if you will. Northeastern State against Tulsa. Uh, believe it or not, the 21st meeting between the two and uh, Tulsa leading the all-time series 16 to four. And uh, here we go in the early going and you really wanted to jam it down low, didn't you? We did paint, you know, we, I think when you look at our, our team, when we have post presence, we're, 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 we're better. So obviously establishing a post game was important for us this game, getting Ray and Manny off uh, to scoring. Uh, we shot the ball extremely well, obviously. I think that that was a build up continuation from Wednesday against Central Florida, excuse me, uh, whenever we played Central Florida, Tuesday, I think. Right. And, uh, but we're playing, really good offensive we're sharing the ball and uh, that's one more that I love that possession there that ball went from one side to the other yeah and uh, you getting Embry Simpson with some production Curtis Haywood uh, really starting to come on for you so that's a good sign and uh, Keyshawn kind of feeling it there he is he's playing a lot better and, and I think the thing is you know you play games like this and and I'm really proud we, we, we wanted to play the game the right way we didn't want to you know get ragged even when we got out to a big lead we want to continue to work on things we, we needed to work on. And that was, that was Manny scoring in the post. We want to play inside out. You can see the good ball movement. Nobody's taking bad shots. And that was important for, the, uh, for me that we, get, we got that accomplished. Austin Ritchie gave you the uh, 35 to nine lead and then back inside again. And uh, how important is it for Ray Doe to get that confidence back at this point? Very important, Bruce. Uh, as I said, we, we are better when we have uh, that post presence and there's Josh slipping in there on an out-of-bounds play 
but we're a much better team when we get that production out of our bigs. Josh Hurley with the basket for you, and he'll get another one right here on the good pass. Yeah, and we know we're going to play guys that are bigger, stronger, more athletic, more talented in our tournament, but it's about confidence right now. It's about guys uh, getting their rhythm back, and uh, there's a good drive by Eli and finish at the rim. Elijah Joyner, of course, finishing out this season really strongly. And again, the quick release for Austin Ritchie for you. Yeah, but that paint production, paint, paint touch first. And uh, nice transition bucket right here, make the right decision. We would have loved uh, Austin to get out wider so we have better spacing there, but, uh, uh, but, but a good half. Absolutely, a 53-34 lead at halftime. You can see you're shooting the ball well, but you're sharing it well. That's the thing I, I'm sure you're really happy about. Your assist total was really good by the end of the day. Yeah, and that, and that, that was important that we didn't, like I said, become a team because of the score. We were going one-on-one. -on -one. We wanted to play the game the right way. They did knock the lead down to a 14 at one point. Then your team starts to put the pedal back down, if you will, and it starts with a little inside play. Yeah, and I love the patience there by Ray. Sometimes Ray gets going so fast because I think he's feeling double teams on him, but uh, that was good patience uh, on his part. Brandon Rochelle got the kind of the necktie foul, if you will, made the shot anyway. Three-point uh, old-fashioned opportunity for him. Yeah, good work. Uh, probably an offensive foul there by Manny on a push-off, <laughs> but... Uh, but I love the fact that he took it with no hesitation to the rim and scored it. And so the Hurricane up by 17 at this point, and again, the Euro step, and Brandon Rochelle with one of his patented plays. And something we don't see often is, you know, a drive all the way to the basket for Austin, which is, if he's able to add that to his game, he becomes even more difficult to defend. Yeah, he has uh, shown the ability to shot fake and get to the rim some, or at least get inside, and here's good ball movement again for you. Yeah, great uh, back cut by Peyton and a pass to the corner for Austin. Uh, another wide open shot, and there's another ball movement play inside out over the right shoulder jump hook by Ray. And you're getting some other folks involved. You see Peyton Urbanchik out there, and I, I, I like the way you eye dropped in certain guys uh, with other good, you know, with other uh, players that are playing a lot. And that, I think that's important. You don't, if you put them all in once, then they're all dry. You know, you want to, I wanted to kind of ease them in. And, and Peyton's a good shooter, and obviously he knocks that down behind the, the dribble handoff. And Tulsa up by 36 at that point. And Peyton will get another opportunity here. No hesitation there uh, on that shot. And so the Hurricane on their way to getting over 100, and they'll get to 100. And it's Manny Ugbo getting it done for TU for you. And again, good to see him get the nice pass from Keyshawn Williams. Yeah, and just going up, no hesitation and flushing that ball, which is important. Bradley Alcime knew that that one wasn't in, and so he went and got it. That was a great play. Yeah, with some aggressiveness and a good finish for Bradley. You see the guys on the sideline were going crazy, and that was good to see. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. And uh, nice uh, drive and kick to Keyshawn there to finish it off. So Keyshawn Embry with that bucket and the Hurricane on their way, their largest point total of the season, 107, as they win the game 107 to 74 and 66% shooting is your best. And I don't care who you're playing, you yeah. shoot the ball that well, you're doing some things right. Same thing with the, the amount of threes you make. I mean, you get, uh, obviously, you know, we had some open threes, but you get open threes in games too, right. you know, you gotta right. make them. And uh, so I'm proud of the fact that we're shooting the ball better right now. Uh, I'm not desired, uh, you know, the defensive numbers are not great. Yeah. And uh, uh, that will have to be, bit, be better if we want to have success uh, this week. Absolutely. But you finished off strong, and it was, a, it, was a, it was a good win. And again, thanks to Jay Havens and Northeastern for coming here. Absolutely. And as I said earlier, we, we needed a game. And we're going to do that again for, with Jay. We're going to have him come over. We want our exhibition game next season because it was really appreciative of him being able to do that for us. So the Hurricane finishing out the regular season with a victory, and now it's postseason time. The Hurricane in the American Athletic Conference Tournament. Back with more in a moment.
are the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. Back on the Frank Hayes Show as we continue on our feature segment sponsored by Don mm. Thornton Auto Group. And Coach, uh, every year we do a bit where the younger players talk about how the, the older players, the seniors, have affected their lives and, and kind of wish them well and that sort of thing. And I, I think it's always good for the younger players to understand that legacy, isn't it? It is, and I think we, we had four really, really good seniors in terms of just they handled themselves well on the court but also off the court. And I think that's important. That, that the young players see, you know, examples of that. And those guys led the, the way you want your seniors to lead. And uh, uh, proud of those four guys. And now we got something crazy that's different. You know, we don't know which of those guys can come back. Right. And uh, so that's a unique year in, in itself. But I do anticipate most of those guys going on and with their careers. All right. Well, here is a look back as the younger players talk about what the older guys meant to them. To the seniors, you know, I love y'all like my own family. We had some good times, we had some bad times, but at the end of the day, we brothers, y'all ever need me, you know I'm here. Seniors, I love you guys. Uh, it's been a great two years being here with you. Uh, I learned a lot from you that I can take as I keep playing and progressing. Uh, I hope you learned something from me as well, just being kind of older than you guys, but also being a great teammate. Uh, it was good, we had great memories. Uh, you're like brothers to me, and I'm, I was lucky to have you. Thank you for showing us everything. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking us in as um, welcoming, welcoming us as your brothers. To the four seniors, thank you for welcoming us into the brotherhood. Thank you for treating us like brothers and friends, and thank you for being great leaders. I'd like to say thank you to all the seniors, um, and I hope um, God give them all the blessings and, and be successful in life. I want to thank all my seniors for, you know, bringing us in and treating us as your brothers and helping us out every day to get better. To all the seniors, thank you for uh, being a leader. Um, I wish all luck for you guys. Hope you have a, a bright future and I hope you uh, are successful in your future. Proud of our four seniors and I hope that this season and whatever happens after goes well for them. Transferring to Tulsa, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but um, the four seniors really just took me under their wing and made sure that my transition into the university was smooth and showed me the standards that they set here in the program and I appreciate all of them and want to win for them. What the seniors meant to me, uh, Darian, B, Eli, Manny, they've always been, they've always been encouraging. Um, we've had good times on and off the court, um, and I wish those guys the best, man. The future is very bright. River Spirit is cruising in the spring with two chances to win the one and only Cadillac. It's the back-to-back -back Cadillac giveaway, and you could take home one of two Cadillac CT5 sedans. Earn entries daily for back-to-back -back Saturday drawings on March 20th and the 27th, and you can double your chances to drive a legend. It's the one you've been waiting for, and two chances to win it. The back-to-back -back Cadillac giveaway, only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal, or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal. Both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively 
and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show and Coach starting on Thursday, American Athletic Conference Tournament as TU is involved in Fort Worth, taking on Tulane in the first round, the 7-10 game, and it's Thursday at 2 o'clock. Yeah, and, and, and we play a Tulane team that came in here and beat us, and, uh, you know, there was a stretch there. We were playing really well, and there was like a four or five-minute stretch there at the end of the half where they outscored us 19-2, and that was the difference in the game. And uh, uh, But, um, you know, we have an opportunity to – you know, compete for postseason, and that's our first opponent. And, uh, you know, 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon is, going, is when we get ready to kick it off. What's important when it comes to postseason play in your eyes? Well, you just got to focus on just that game. You get, you know, you would take one game at a time, and, and you know, and that's kind of, that's not coach speak. That's, you, you, you can't have success if you think big picture. You just got to think, focus on uh, who your opponent is the first game. And, and I, we've been preparing for Tulane uh, this, since this weekend, and that's all our focus is. And and and, and we, we know that we did some things we in that game that hurt us, and we got to be better at it. Um, and and I think we are playing better. So I anticipate us having a good good outing on Thursday. Absolutely, and coach, make a good deep run in the tournament. Uh, we'll we'll talk to you soon. Thank, Thank you. you, Bruce. The head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Frank Haith. It's tournament time, and that wraps it up for the Frank Haith Show. The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by. Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.